What is up, Coretics? Welcome back to the series where I build popular movie slash TV show vehicles using cars in GTA Online. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what movie slash TV show car you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next build video. Now again guys, remember that I do have a separate series for the Fast and Furious cars, so again, this movie slash TV show series is for the other popular movie vehicles. So, in today's video, we're going to be building Chick Hicks from the movie Cars, which is mainly based on the Buick Grand National NASCAR. Now, we do have a Grand National inspired car in GTA, which is the Willard Faction. However, this car doesn't offer any liveries or any race car style parts, and even the Benny's custom variant of it doesn't either since it's more of a lowrider conversion rather than a race car conversion like the Gauntlet Classic for example. However, you could still technically get the faction and paint it green and put yellow wheels. However, it just doesn't have the NASCAR vibes without that racing livery. So therefore, in this video, I will be using the Hot Ring Saber for this build, which is mainly based on the Chevy Lumina NASCAR mixed with the Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme NASCAR from the 90s. So it's a bit more rounded than the boxier 80s GM cars, but I think it's definitely the closest we have in game when we consider all the factors. But anyways, let's go ahead and start the build for Chick Hicks from the movie Cars. Alright, Chick Hicks, let's do it. Okay, so as usual for all these builds, I always, you know, do full armor and performance mods and all that. So, armor, brakes, engine. Um, obviously, this car didn't have headlights. It was a race car, so skip that. Well, you can't even put headlights anyways, but you can put neon for some reason, but you definitely don't want to do that. Um, livery. So, I've gone through all of these. Um, there's 31 liveries, right? And uh, to me, I, I think the closest is going to be the um, U-Tool livery. Uh, personally, I think it's the closest compared to all the other ones, so that's what we're going to go with there. Um, in terms of the respray, so for this you can just go with a, um, a metallic or a classic um, lime green, which I'll show here. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Lime green, there you go, so you can do that. That will look pretty good with like a silver pearl or a dark steel pearl. Um, or if you go, um, I, I did make a custom crew color. I was going to say if you go to the crew color, but <laughs> I made a custom crew hex color um, to try to get as close as possible as I could to the Chick Hicks green. Um, I went through a bunch of different um, versions of the green, um, and I finally came to this one. So I think this one's actually pretty good. Uh, a bit bright in certain areas, but I don't know. I, I think it works well. Um, it's definitely a lot better on the lime green, I think. A bit more accurate, so... We're going to do that, and the hex for this color will be down below in the description if you guys want to use it, even though I'm sure you, maybe you should adjust it a bit more, but it doesn't look that bad. Um, secondary color for this car is actually the roll cage, and pretty much like the whole structure of the chassis and everything. It's all that color. You can kind of see it in the engine bay in there, too. Um, so, pretty cool. Now, real NASCARs in general, usually they'll have this painted the same color as their primary color, or it will be black or white or something like that. Um, so this one doesn't matter because Chick Hicks, obviously, you know, the, the cars in the movie Cars are alive, right? And the windows, they have that sort of like white um, on them and you, you can't see inside or anything like that. So, you know, because it's, it's alive, obviously. <laughs> um, so I think the best thing to, to do is just pick black or white or whatever you want it doesn't matter um but in terms of like nascar accuracy sort of i guess uh i'm gonna go with a matching uh green so we're just gonna go ahead and do that suspension so in the movie cars the cars express themselves obviously with you know the grill as their mouth um the windshield as their eyes and then the suspension and the wheels is sort of like their arms and legs in that regard. So, you know, they go up a lot and side to side and all that. So, um, I, I think in general, I think it's better to keep the suspension as, as, as high as we can. So, I think I'm just going to keep it stock. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to keep the stock suspension there. Transmission. Continuing to the turbo upgrade. So, obviously, stock cars are naturally aspirated V8s. So you know, we're not they're not turbocharged. Now, obviously, the Grand National production car was a V6 with a turbo, um, but in this case, you know, it is the, the stock car, NASCAR. 
Um, so I think it'll be a bit more accurate if we just keep it naturally aspirated without a turbo. Um, even though this thing says turbo tuning, so I guess that comes with a turbo stock, but eh, we'll just we'll just skip it. Um, wheels. <laughs> so in terms of the wheels, there's a few different options you can go with in the muscle category if you'd like. Um, you can do these. You can do uh, these. Also these. I mean, there's a few. There's a few different options here. You paint it yellow, put the tire lettering and stuff. But you know, the Chick Hicks, uh, Lightning McQueen, and uh, the King. You know, they all used um, the the Goodyear sort of parody of the NASCAR Goodyear tires. Um, obviously, in the movie, it was called Lightyear. Um, uh, in in real life, it's called Goodyear. And in GTA, they call it Atomic. So there's a few different a few different iterations of a name. Um, but I want to keep that big lettering, and obviously we can't change the color of our stock wheels on the hot ring. So, um, they actually do have that wheel in, in the uh, custom category in street, and it's called the hot ring steely. So, there you go. Um, and then we're going to paint it, obviously, yellow. Now, in terms of which shade of yellow, personally, I think the race yellow is a little closer than the uh, normal yellow. So, we'll go with the race yellow here. And then tire lettering, you want to go with the white atomic logo. That's the only one to go with there. Now, I think throughout the entire um, Cars movie, it did have the white tire lettering. Um, but I've seen some images and stuff of it using yellow tire lettering. Um, I, that might be from other like mini episodes or something, a little ones they made afterwards. Um, but in the case of this one, you know, I want to keep it based on the, the first movie car. So we're going to do the white atomic logo. And windows. So. Like I usually do for these, obviously, um, they have the white stuff on the windows of the, all the, the cars in the movie cars. Because, you know, they're obviously alive, so you can't see inside. Um, now, Chick Hicks had that, but he also had, like, a ton of sponsorships all over the windows. You know, a bunch of decals all sticker bombed. <laughs> so, uh, we can't do that, but we can do dark tints. So, I think we'll just cover that up, limo tint, so you kind of hide the interior as best we can. Obviously, there's no side windows on this car, because it's a race car. So, just has the net. We can't do anything about that. So, skip that. And then, in terms of the... I forgot to show the Pro Lesson here. Um, right now, it has a Silver Pro, which actually looks pretty good. Um, I, th I think maybe it's a bit too bright in certain lighting. I think Dark Steel will be better. So, I'm going to do that. All right. Looks like we got everything. Yep. All right, let's take it for a drive. Exit to ground. Looks cool. I like it. I, <laughs> I mean, it's it's pretty obvious what it is. You know that green with the yellow wheels. I mean, it, it, it and the livery. You, you kind of you kind of get it right away. I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you see somebody driving this around and you, you get the reference because not everybody likes you know a green car with yellow wheels. You know, it's a bit out there and unusual. So this this is cool. Uh, first person here. Yeah, the hot ring. This thing is super, super detailed. Um, now, unfortunately, it does have handling flags. You know, it just is what it is. Um, kind of makes it a bit annoying to to drive when you're trying to take a corner quickly and hit the gas or mid drive or whatever. Um, but I mean, the speed is pretty decent. It is in the sports class. It's not in the muscle car class. So technically, you you can't race. Um, the King, Lightning McQueen, and this car together because they're in three different classes. Um, we use the 900R. We saw my Lightning McQueen build video, um, and we use the 900R for that one. And that car is in the supercar class. And then for the King, we use the Gauntlet Classic Custom. That's in the muscle car class. And then this car, the Hot Rings, in the sports car class. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's why you see my little um, initial sort of um, intro clips done at the airport because we just technically we couldn't you know put them all um, in a race together so yeah um, but yeah this thing this thing's sick I, I think I think it's awesome um, that the look and everything and the sound it's just a shame with the, the slow handling flag thing that kind of ruins a lot of these cars you know you mid drive it and it just doesn't go anywhere it just sits there it's it's really annoying honestly but drives pretty decently. Um, all right, let's pull over here, open all the doors and stuff. Looks so cool. There's so many good cars in this game in terms of like styling and and the exhaust on this thing is great too. And this thing, from what I remember, I think it had a lot of detail in here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that chassis. Wow, the engine block and the valve covers even match your color. That's, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Nicely detailed suspension components, too. 
Not bad. Not bad at all. Nicely done. Interior pure race car. And carbon paneling and that's wow. Awesome. The trunk with the fuel cell. Look at that. Oh man, look at that. The tube and everything to go from here to the fuel cell. That's nicely done. It's been a while since I've like actually looked at one of these in detail, so hats off to you, Rockstar. I guess you do know how to make some cars in, in, in good detail, but not as of recent, it seems, in 2023. <laughs> well, sorry, 2022, because, you know, the drip feed moved over to 23, but you get what I mean. 2022 updates is what I meant to say. Um, not as much details we used to see in terms of, like, you know, interior and engine models and stuff, but... Yeah, that's the Chick Hicks build. Very simple, obviously. I mean, I wish we had the faction with with more um, race car parts and liveries and stuff. I would have definitely used that instead. But because we're lacking those race car parts and liveries, I was forced to use this instead. Which is not a bad alternative, but it's a shame that we do have the faction in game and we can't <laughs> use that instead. But Rockstar Logic at its finest. Anyways, guys... <laughs> Hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching, and of course let me know down below uh, what movie slash TV show build you want to see me do next, and I'll see you in the next one.